The half moon doesn't look like a half fucking moon anymore. Oh, fuck. God damn it, since I'm fucking here, I didn't realize it was gonna. Uh, I just wasn't thinking. Alright. Let's go talk to fucking Rainsfall. Wouldn't it technically be Rainfalls? Noun, then verb. Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Huh. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. I did. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I've tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Sure. Sure. It's all part of the game, sure. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. Aren't you riding on with Rain's Fall? We'll continue on Cut. this way. 
I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. Yeah. This game's so fucking wonky on PC. I don't remember it ever being this, like, fucking... Disassociative from the fucking the over there, narrative of the horse. story. Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Good. There was no need to harm them. Other than my horse is a complete bitch and gets super spooked at the sight of him. Yeah. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, I ain't exactly sure why I'm here. I guess our situations have become tangled. You mean with my son? Yes. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses and, uh, well, you know something of Dutch, I think. A little. Mostly from your friend, Charles. I don't know why. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. looking for English mace English mace is here okay let's continue 30 more I'm pretty sure that's only in New Austin One. now as I was saying I don't know why he's getting involved with eagle flies but the two of them together it's gonna be a problem. So what are you suggesting we do? The two of them were headed for Fort Wallace when I last saw them. I'll head over there. See if I can keep things from boiling over. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You got no reason to thank me yet. Uh, Arthur's son? You know, I had a son once. Years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw. Wait, stop here. Ah, oh, fuck. I want to pick some ginseng. Are you we kidding me? More about this later. You're at the best part of the fucking. Oh my god, I want. I, I don't know what happened. I. I think I might have heard it once before, but I can't fucking remember a single thing. I think I remember him saying his son's name was Isaac once. This will combine well. Well, good for you, my fucking dude. I don't know who's playing the wind chimes off in the fucking distance, but uh, I want to hear more about Arthur's son. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. these together. Alright, well, thanks for creepily staring at me as you did that. It awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. Alright, let's go. Start much further now. Please don't cut me yeah, off anymore. I was saying something. Oh yeah. I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. 
Robbed. Shot him dead. Now for ten dollars. Fuck. It hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain, I guess. I had to. I don't know. I ain't been a good man. At least you understand something of your anger. I understand that you can't be a bad man and expect good things to happen to you. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. I'll work something out. If I get enough money together, I can always head out west to one of those sanatoriums in California. I still got some options. Well, I wish you all the best. I want to talk about more stuff. Can we talk about more stuff? More stuff, please? I feel like I pretty much drove that conversation towards me and I hate doing that. Even like real life where people are like, I don't know, I just hate bitching. I just thought, I wanted to learn a little bit more about what Arthur thought of his own sickness. Uh, but talking about the sickness after we just, just up ahead. talked about like his son dying and his sister, I felt like that would have been a pretty What's good, happened? whatever. No. Oh no, this fucking place. We drove by this a fucking million times. They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. <sighs> Help me look around, please! The Tanupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. It looks like they were doing some drinking. Pipe, 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 pipe. What reason would they have? Thing. Lots of drinking. There's some whiskey here. This is a place of peace. Sick fuckers, man. More over here. Mr. Morgan. U.S. does not have a pretty past. Okay, stand up, Arthur. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank uh, all that, they couldn't have gone too far. Oh skin. my God. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa. But you see that smoke down there? Favors men. They must have been the ones who did this. <sighs> Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But, but I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Fuck. No, they've taken the last hope. 
Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Let's go. Ah. <sighs> Fuck, that is so disheartening, you know? It's just fucking sickening. America does not have a fucking pretty past. Bunch of rich fucking thugs. Taking shit from people that fucking need it the most. It's fucking gross. What sucks is, like, most most common people that didn't have anything to do with it live in the rewards, like, even probably somebody like myself. Fucking owe a lot of my life to the way things went down back then. What's that? I went to West Point. Favors never made it. Yeah, I'm sure. Who's there? Just seems so. We got an intruder. Take your hands off, Eric. <laughs> this letter to Martin from father dear Martin I really want you to work on your temper that behavior at lunch last week was disgraceful abusing the clergyman and Miss Hillcott she's a widow he's a man of God and you drink and you with a drink inside you speaking like that your mother was appalled I was humiliated you'll get yourself killed one of these days if you carry on like that in public instead of around family I expect better from you you were raised to be a proper gentleman not exactly. Where the hell is this thing?
Oh, this is it. Let me just shove that inside of my satchel. Got your things, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. But these... Maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. So long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dush pushing his son to do He's something real stupid. Not so long ago, I would wow. have found weak. <laughs> Wow, Rockstar. Very cool. This is not turning out to be a great PC port. At least, especially towards the end. I mean, Chapter 5 was a fucking nightmare as far as the PC port goes. I can tell that, like, I mean, obviously in the fifth one, overall, the fifth chapter wasn't very well polished. Uh, compared to the rest of the fucking game, but, um... It's just getting buggier and buggier, you know? Hello? Nice to see you again. Hi. And you? How have you been? Okay, I suppose. That's good. I've been lonely. Very lonely. I'm faced with a stark and unpleasant choice. Be lonely or get murdered. Not very exciting as it goes. Huh. God damn it, Adobe. Uh, pick lonely? Did you miss me? Uh, <laughs> I suppose so. Yes, I missed you too. I've been quite lonely out here. One day, I long to have a wife. But women can be so cruel. Nobody wants large children. They eat too much. It's very sad. Some women only want big guys, you know? I'd say you have an advantage, but I mean, that's just me. You said it yourself, women are cruel. Am I right, gamers? Can yeah. you help? Uh, hello? Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? <laughs> My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Huh. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. 
Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. Sure. I'll bear that in mind. Like we're not gonna go out and look for it right fucking now. There he is. Big guy. Well, come on, Dan. Let's get you back. Yeah, he's just where you left him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. So you better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. And you are big and strong. <laughs> Fucking you're a horse. You're like nothing but muscle, dude. We ain't far now. Nothing gonna spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. A little dirty, but not nasty. I found him. You're a good man, Mr. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Amish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. Yeah, happens to Adobe You're all the a real time. real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Hey, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me. Got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay! <sighs> I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. Don't worry about it. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Well, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of a craze run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Yeah, I'm a pretty poor fisherman, except I've caught every single legendary fish this side of New Austin. Ah, so, uh, yeah, you could say we do pretty okay. All right. Uh... I, I just, outros are fucking meaningless. Nobody ever makes it here. <laughs>